Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm know that the content is useful and promotes it to others. If you don't like it, let me know about it in the comments. If you still don't have a Star Citizen account, use my referral link in the description below or the code on screen to snag yourself some extra starting credits. Now on with the video. You want to be a notorious bounty hunter. Great. First off, there are two types of bounties available, NPC bounties and player bounties. Player bounties will be named Suspect Apprehension. When viewing the contract briefing, the name will be a single part name. Player names are generally pretty obvious when you read them. NPC names will always be two parts, a first name and a last name. To get started with player bounties, grab the entry certification and complete it. That'll unlock the rest of them and then you can go after any players that have bounties that are on your server. Since player bounties can be wild and time consuming, for the rest of this video, I'm only gonna be covering NPC bounties. To get started with those, you'll have to do an initial certification. That then unlocks assessments for the security faction of each planetary region. Upon completion of that, you gain access to the rest of the bounties. Each successful bounty will reward you with money and reputation. After some time, you rank up with additional certifications, each rank providing access to higher paying and more difficult bounties. There's also two types of NPC bounties, those being ship-to-ship -ship combat and FPS. The FPS ones are in caves or underground facilities, aka bunkers. They don't really have a different uh, pay per rank as they have a higher payout just overall uh, because they take a little bit longer to do and can be a little bit tedious sometimes. Since the certification and assessments are ship-to-ship -ship combat, we'll be demonstrating those. Now, before accepting the certification, or any other bounty for that matter, read the briefing to look at where it is. If it says something like abandon something or other or wreck site and identifies it's on the surface of a planet or moon, you might want to reconsider accepting the contract. Sometimes they can be pretty far away from any kind of quantum jump point and you have to slow travel there. A prime example is the contract I accepted on screen here. There are no close jump points to this target. Slow traveling to it would easily take at least 15 minutes, probably more, from anywhere that I might be able to jump to. For certifications, they may also take you to another planetary region from where you are, like this one I'm taking here. I'm currently around Hurston and it's sending me over to Crusader. However, once you complete the certification and local assessment, then you will get bounties that are in the region that you're currently in. Sometimes the server is a bit slow to acknowledge your acceptance. While I'm waiting, I realize I didn't pick up the call to arms from the mercenary section. Always grab this whenever you're doing anything that involves combat, whether it be player or NPCs, ship or FPS. You get extra money for any terminations of enemies with the crime stat. As all bounties are by definition targets with the crime stat, this starts to rack up. Now that I've got my certification contract accepted and tracked, I'm going to hop in my ship and head over to Yella. Since this is a decent distance, I'm going to skip ahead here. As we're flying in here waiting for the enemy chevrons to appear on the HUD, I should point out that I'm using a lag pip. This puts the pip on the point of impact instead of leading out in front of the target, identifying where you should be firing. You can find that option in the main settings. Now for this one, I have a single main target. You always have one main target, uh, and then you may have multiple escorts, sometimes just one. Drop a couple of countermeasures, take care of the missiles, and take out the escort. When you first start combat flying, you might have the desire to avoid taking any hits. While it's not a bad strategy, it may not always be possible. So don't be afraid to let the shield absorb some hits. Here I've got my power triangle all the weapons so they recharge a little faster. However, this also makes my shields and boost recharge much slower. In more advanced combat, you may be adjusting the triangle frequently to give quick boosts of power or recharge something. Also, when flying in asteroids like this, or near atmospheric surfaces, especially at night, be mindful of your surroundings. You can quite easily get tunnel vision of chasing a target and then slam into a rock or the ground. Thank you. 
And our target is down. And that is the bounty certification. The next step from here is to pick up the assessment for the local security faction and then unlock the rest of the regional bounties. So I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.